Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology. Check our website, raywaldo.com. All questions, please leave a comment on raywaldo.com rather than on YouTube. Uh, today we're working with the G Tablet by ViewSonic and we're going to install Team DRH's Jelly Bean uh, uh, Cyanogen Mod 10 and uh, this is uh, Team DRH's JB Jelly Bean 5.3 that we're going to install. Now, uh, the first thing you want to do, make sure anytime you do any of this kind of stuff, is make a backup of whatever you got now. If you rooted, you can do an Android backup. Uh, I've given you instructions elsewhere about how to do that. You probably already know how. Uh, the second thing is that the newer ROM versions of, are all larger, and so you've got to extend the system partition on the G tablet in order to get the ROM on there. To do that, we've got a uh, Team DRH has a, uh, a prep file, and we're going to execute that file and to uh, extract it. Uh, let's see, let's go back. In. I don't use Windows a lot, so it takes me a little bit. Now, I put both these files uh, the uh, 350 meg prep file and the uh, Jelly Bean Alpha 5.3, both these files are in a subfolder off the root on. Windows, this is Windows 7 64 bit, should work the same on 32 bit. Uh, so we want to right click on the prep file and extract all. That's what we want to do. And the file name, I'm going to uh, leave it the same and extract it. And it's got 43 items in here. And inside this file, this zip file, and once you extract the file, it has an instruction inside there that you can use to kind of briefly tell you what to do. Okay, and then we're going to open it up. And inside there, here's the readme. There's one for Linux. It'll work in Linux. And there's one for uh, Windows. We are going to use Windows. And then the next thing we want to do, once we've done that, is to install the uh, drivers for the G tablet. So what we're going to do now is connect the USB. Let me back out here a little bit so you can see what's going on. And uh, you can see I've got the USB connector in the G tablet. It's turned off and I'm going to connect the USB over here to a USB connector. And then we're going to turn on the G tablet in the APX mode. Now if you're not familiar with APX, APX is uh, a special mode for in the flash and you do that by holding the power button, don't touch it yet, holding the power button and the minus sign on the volume which is the one on mine next to the corner here. So we're going to press the minus sign first then we're going to press the, the uh, power button. And What's going to happen, it's going to come on flash then it's going to go back off again. Okay? And once that happens, that's all we want right there. And you heard it, Windows uh, gave us a, a notification that something's happened here. Okay, so it's, it's saying we've got a new uh, something on here and we need a driver for it to connect it. And uh, so let's go down here and see. There we go. Device driver, driver software uh, was not successfully. We didn't expect it to because we hadn't told it where it is. Now, okay, and it says it's the APX mode. Let me pull in a little bit so you can see what's happening here. Okay, so this is the error that it gave us is that we're in APX mode, no driver found. Okay, so uh, what can I do if my did not install correctly? So basically what we're going to do is go over to the device manager, just close all this, and we'll go to the device manager, which is in, uh, uh, again, I don't use Windows enough to remember where all this stuff is. The uh, control panel, okay, and device manager, okay, and we should see APX. Here we go. Okay, so it didn't come up right. Can you see that? Is, uh, do we miss it? Okay. There's the APX driver and it failed. Okay, so we right click on that and we're going to uh, update the driver software. 
Okay, and we want to browse my computer, and we're going to tell it where to find that. So we go to Browse, and we go back over here to the root of, of C, and inside there I have a folder called GTAB where I put all this stuff. And inside that folder is this one for Team DRH 350 Meg Prep, and inside that is a, US, a flash USB driver. So we click on that, and the OK lights up. Okay, can you, did I get off? Can you see all that? Okay. So here's where we're going to click on the flash USB driver. Click that, and then we'll click OK. And then we click Next over here. Make sure you can see all this. Click Next to install the driver. Windows can't verify it. I don't care. I know this is good. Install this driver anyway. So we click install this driver anyway. Because it's good. And Windows is installing the driver. Now remember, we've still got the NVIDIA uh, connected. And now... Let's see if we can get in here where you can see it. Okay, the NVIDIA USB boot recovery driver for mobile devices. And that's exactly what we wanted. It's been successfully done. So we closed that. And now we don't have anything that's got a red X or an exclamation. Instead, we have uh, under the USB bus controllers, we've got a USB uh, NVIDIA. Okay, and that's what we want. Okay, so uh, that should be all we need now to go ahead and do the rest of it. So now we're going to turn it off. Turn the G-Tab off. Uh, go over here. Let me widen out again. So you can see what's going on. Okay, we hold the power button, turn it off. And when is somewhere that something happened? And it came back on. I held it too long. Okay, so we'll hold it until it goes off. Well, it's installing it. I mean, it's going ahead and flashing, running the other uh, ROM that I already had. So there we go. We got it turned off. Okay, now we're going to go into APX mode again. So we hold the minus sign and the power button. Okay, it comes on and goes off. And we let go of both those. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up so you can see it. Okay, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bump the tripod there. Okay, so uh, now we're going to actually run the NVIDIA uh, NV Flash program. So we can close all this out. The, this is all working well. We go back to the file manager and we look inside the folder and we see a bat file here it has a BAT extension somewhere in NVIDIA NV flash G tablet bat here we go okay let's zoom in so you can see what's going on okay and that file is the one we're going to we double click on it and now a window opens up and starts sending files. And if we go over to the G tablet, we'll see that it has lit up one line on the screen that says entering NV flash recovery mode. And then it's some uh, a particular NV3 flash server. Okay, so we continue watching the uh, screen until it comes up and says, uh, please close command window, shut down the G tablet by holding the power button because everything is finished. And then we just, it's paused. So we close the window and we turn off the G tablet. So I'm going to do that, the G tablet first. So what we do is just hold the power button until it goes off. Okay. And then over here, on Windows, we're going to just close the window. Okay? Now, what we have just
finished is the first step of getting the G tablet ready to accept the new ROM. We have enlarged the system partition and it didn't take very long. We've created the, uh, the proper uh, setup on the G tablet so that it will now uh, accept the, uh, the, uh, the new ROM. Okay, so we shut down the power and now we're going to restart it this time with the plus volume button. Okay, so we go over here to the G tablet and we hold the plus, which is over here on this side, on the right side. Uh, we hold the plus and the down and press the power button. And then once the uh, this is lit up here and says recovery image, we can uh, release the power button and we turn on or we continue holding the plus button, the volume button, until we get the the uh, recovery. Now this is the Team Wins version of Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay, and uh, so what we want to do here, the first thing we want to do is to uh, go to Advanced and it will allow us to do uh, the touch and we hit Return and we want to partition the internal SD card. And we hit return and we're going to set it to 2048 and zero. Okay, you still see that, right? Yeah. Okay. And we're partitioning the internal SD card. Okay, and it'll take just a minute. Once that's finished, then we'll be ready to actually flash the ROM using the, uh, the, the uh, Clockwork Mod that's, that we've installed on the G tablet. It should be finished pretty soon. And I'm doing this in real time. I don't rush my videos. I don't. Uh, some people speed them up so that it gets the real information out quickly. I like that in one sense. But in another sense, sometimes new users need to know how long does this really take. So I do it in real time. You see exactly how long it takes. You can time it if you want to. By the way, this is Clockwork Mod version 6.0.1.1 which is one of the newest versions of Clockwork Mod. And uh, if you made a backup, uh, I hope you're watching this before you do it, if you made a backup, you needed to have copied that backup file to your computer before you do this, because this wipes out everything that was on the the SD card. Well, this takes longer than I thought, but we'll get it done here in a minute. Actually, what it's doing is uh, it's partitioning. It's kind of like formatting a, a drive. And you know, sometimes when you format uh, large drives or uh, or older uh, machines and things, it takes a while to format. So that's what it's basically doing. It's partitioning, which is the step just before formatting, and then it's actually formatting to it at the same time. So once it's finished, then what we're going to do when it finishes is copy the file, the new ROM file. And uh, I have links on my website about the, where to get these files. You can look for the Team DRH homepage, and that's where you get them. Uh, uh, don't remember the site. Uh, address right offhand, but uh, it's just Google Team DRH and you'll find it. And uh, that's where you can get both these files. They have instructions there. There's also instructions on the or inside the 
a prep file of how to go about doing this. You do not expand the ROM file. You just copy it over from your computer to the uh, G tablet and once you have it on the G tablet then you can disconnect the computer because everything else is done on the G tablet itself using the uh, recovery function. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we want to go over here to, uh, let's go back to home, I think. Uh, yeah, let's, we can go ahead and wipe the Dalvik cache while we're here. And uh, tell it yes. It's always a good thing. And then, how do we, oh, here's the back. And now we want to, while we're here, we'll go ahead and do the wipe data factory reset, which cleans up everything from the way it was. Oops. Just delete everything. That gets rid of any of the old ROM or system files, make sure that everything is clean. You can, uh, Team DRH suggests you do this after you, you do the ROM as well. Some ROMs say do it before, some say after, uh, whichever. One or the other should be fine. And again it's formatting these different partitions. And while we're waiting over here on the computer, which you can't see, I'm going to go ahead and find this file so it'll be ready for us uh, when we get there. Uh, when we get, so all we got to do is copy the, the file over. Well, we've got to connect the, uh, go to mounts and connect the device to the computer again because it's not really connected to the computer right now. Okay, we should be finished here in just a moment. Just seems like this is running a little bit slower. This version of Clockwork Mod is running slower than previous versions. Okay, there we go. We're complete. Okay, so now we want to go to mounts and storage and we want to mount USB where is that uh, there we go mount USB storage it was out of view okay and now we should have heard a connection to Windows okay here we go Windows is, has uh, opened up a new dialog closer and you can see what we've got. Okay, and Windows says open the folder to view the files and that's what we want to do. Okay, so and it's empty. This is the uh, the folder that we want to take the Jelly Bean Alpha and copy it over. So we just drag it over here and copy it. And Windows starts to doing its copy thing. Okay. Should just a few more seconds here. Okay, it's gone. Okay, so we go back to the G tablet. Get you a little bit wider view. See the whole thing here. Okay, and now what we're going to do is go ahead and unmount the USB because we don't need that anymore. And uh, if you didn't see it, but the Windows uh, dialog closed up, 
we can go ahead and disconnect this and when this shows that it's disconnected and we want to go back and now we want to install a zip from the SD card so we move down to install zip from SD card and we want to choose the zip from the internal SD card because that's where it is and it automatically finds the only one that's there it's the only file that's there is team DRH so we just hit enter and are you sure you want to do this and we say yes and enter and it starts to flash the ROM it's just that simple it's, it just takes a little while to do it all but it's really very simple okay now it, this is, it's about to install Team DRH Jelly Bean Alpha. And so this is giving you a little bit of information next. And by installing it, you got to accept the license and uh, you can uh, read the entire license. I'm reading this very, very quickly. <laughs> Hope you understand. You've got to click that you agree and click next. And then using the ROM. Okay, and there's information here that you need to agree to about that. Okay, so I agree. Click Next. And this is the change log. This is all the stuff that's happened with the newest versions and version and this uh, version that we have now. So we're satisfied with that. We don't see anything new here. So we click Next. Okay, so do we want to install the ROM with no gapps? Now, the gapps are all the Gmail and that kind of thing, and you really do want all that. So, install ROM with gapps, and that's what we click on. And the required apps, we want the Amazon App Store, we want Google Books, we want everything. Google Currents, Google Docs, Google Drive, Genie Widget, I don't know what that is, but let's go ahead and do it. Uh, Google Magazines. That's pretty cool stuff if you hadn't done it. Uh, enable boot sound. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Reboot after install. Okay, so we tell it yes and go to next. So we selected all those things. Okay, so it's got its little uh, bar, progress bar working here. And uh, there's a percent down there at the bottom. Right now it's showing 0%. Get over where you can see it. It's extracting all the files right now, I guess. That's what it says it's extracting. And again, you don't really have to do very much. It's just a matter of just going through the process and stepping through each step and allowing it to perform its job. And we're 23 minutes in right now, I guess, and uh, moving forward, I hope, I hope that percent over there is not really accurate. I hope that it's uh, actually doing something here. Normally it doesn't take that long to install a ROM on newer devices, but I don't know. This is the first time I've done this one, so we're seeing it. I hope I can keep this video under 30 minutes. All right, there's the progress bar working now. We're 50%, 60%. Oh, yeah, it's going quickly. The ROM is finished, and we're working on the GEPs now. Well, if I knew how to play an instrument, I would play you some music in the background, but uh, I'm not very good at music. And I assume that you're more interested in the content than in the music. Okay, there we go. We're moving 70%. Unmounting of partitions. And there we go. We're, in, re uh, we're finished installing. 
and it's actually booting into the new ROM. Now, let me tell you, at any time you do anything that clears the Dalvik cache and resets the thing, including just clearing the Dalvik cache, it's kind of a cool boot animation here, uh, any time you do that, then that boot, that initial boot after clearing the Dalvik cache, is going to take longer than it normally takes to boot. So this is Jelly Bean Alpha, and it's coming up, but it's not going to take this long to boot each time in the future. Once you've got it installed and booted the first time, then it'll come up much more quickly in the future. But it looks like we're going to be about 27, 28 minutes maybe at the most in this whole process. So uh, once you've downloaded those two files, we've done this whole thing in less than 30 minutes. So it's a pretty cool process, 30 minutes of your time, and you have uh, a wonderful new Jelly Bean tablet, 10-inch tablet. So uh, it should really be worthwhile. And I think you'll like it when you're through. I haven't seen this one again. This is the first time I've done this. So uh, we're going to see it together, but I believe we're going to be impressed. The boot animation is pretty nice. But uh, that doesn't do much for me. I want to see the, the thing run and actually be something. Once, you're, uh, once it's fully installed and running, sometimes it's a good idea to just let it sit for uh, a few hours, a day even, and then come back and do your setup. Uh, sometimes the uh, leave it on during that period of time and uh, sometimes they say that makes it run better in the future. It's certainly it's trying to uh, write all the data in the background while you're trying to install the uh, set up the uh, Android at the first. It's just not a good idea. So as soon as it comes up on Android we're just going to blank the screen and leave it alone and let it run overnight and uh, in the morning I'll finish the setup. But you want to see the screen before you get through here, or I do. I hope we're not boot looping. Okay, something's happening. <laughs> I don't know if the screen timed out or what. We still have uh, a battery indicator here. Okay, we've come along. Wow, I was just about ready to crash it and uh, thinking it was taking too long. Well, you get an idea how long it takes there. Okay, so we're 28, 30, uh, we're just a little less than 30 minutes into this process and we have uh, the welcome screen from Android. So that's as far as we're going to go tonight. We're going to leave it and let it uh, sit overnight, and then we'll set up Android tomorrow. All right, well, that's it, raywaldo.com. If you have any questions, please don't leave them on YouTube. I do all the support on the website, raywaldo.com. All right, see you there. Bye-bye.